Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hey folks, Sam Mowers here, back with another episode of Crypto Corner. For news today, Car4 and Nestle are using the IBM blockchain to provide transparency across a milk supply chain. India's parliament will not consider a crypto banning bill in the forthcoming winter session. JP Morgan and Baton are developing a derivatives margin solution, and the BRICS nations are discussing a digital currency. So an announcement today reveals that French multinational Carrefour, which is traded on the OTC under the ticker symbol CRRFY, and Nestle, also traded on the OTC under the ticker symbol NSRGY, are leveraging the IBM Food Trust blockchain platform to provide transparency across the supply chain for Guigo's Bio 2 and 3 infant milk range. IBM, by the way, is traded on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol IBM. An excerpt from the press release reads, quote, This three-way partnership builds on Carrefour's Act for Food program. Blockchain technology enhances transparency and advances the food transition for extremely high-quality products, which parents expect for infant nutrition. For Nestle and Laboratoire Guigo, this innovative blockchain technology creates a new benchmark for transparency and the high standards of care required to ensure the quality of their products. In line with this position, Laboratoire Guigo is proud to once again strengthen its close ties with consumers, end quote. A report from Cointelegraph indicates that the government of India will not, as it had previously intended, consider a cryptocurrency-related draft bill during the winter session of Parliament. The draft bill entailed a complete ban on the use of crypto in India, along with a digital rupee being issued by the country's central bank, the Reserve Bank of India. Parliament's winter session runs from November 18th to December 13th. Investment banking giant J.P. Morgan, which is traded on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol JPM, and Baton Systems, a provider of distributed ledger-based post-trade solutions for capital markets, have developed a solution to automate derivatives margin payments, according to a press release yesterday. According to the press release, the solution's resulting end-to-end automation of the margining and collateral workflows provides full visibility of the asset flows between J.P. Morgan and clearinghouses with complete audit trails and real-time notifications, reducing the need to pre-fund margin payments under the current market infrastructure related to margin settlements. Anthony Fraser, the head of global clearing operations and trading cost management at J.P. Morgan, commented, quote, The technology we have developed reduces the time needed to process the entire collateral workflow from hours to near real time. We're already seeing faster, more efficient payments, reconciliation, and reporting for all parties in the collateral life cycle. End quote. And Coindesk reports that BRICS, that's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, the Association of Emerging Economies, have discussed the development of a shared digital currency to streamline trade and reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar. The idea was brought up at a BRICS business council at a meeting in Brazil, Nikita Kulikov, a member of the State Duma's Expert Council in Russia, commented, quote, Most likely it will be certain obligations that can be transferred from one legal entity to another to confirm that the recipient will have claim rights and the contractor will have obligations for a specific amount. It will not be money. We can say that it will be a paperless document flow to facilitate transactions, end quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. 